Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's me, Girl Brit Reacts, and today we're gonna react via a kind suggestion to Sinead O'Connor Troy. Let's see what she has to say. I'm here. Her voice is just, it's magical. Um, I don't remember her having a completely shaved head in previous re, I think I've done one reaction, maybe two. I don't recall. Um, I don't know the reason. It feels like, um, like something she wanted to do and not because of sickness. I don't know. I feel, I feel like her hair was short but she had hair uh in the reaction that that i'm re recalling i could be wrong i don't know but she strikes me as the type to not care about appearance so much which i think is beautiful um and she also strikes me as the type to have a firm stance in things or just a voice that she's not afraid to use um so if in fact this is a haircut voluntarily it feels like a statement to the industry that f y'all and your standards you know what i mean like she's a beautiful woman her voice is otherworldly um just like the screeches and the airiness and the the, the all of it um i love it and then hearing the crowd roar oh that always gets me it's just like they love it they love her Does that mean the sun came up? She sings with so much intention um, and feeling and purpose. Oh, it's like wild listening to her and then seeing her as almost, almost like she's performing to no one. You know, like it just feels very intimate and personal. I'm going to press play, but I'm also going to go ahead and look up the lyrics because I want to. Okay. <laughs> Being what you are, there is no other Troy. There is no other Troy. Ooh, okay. Let let me see if I can begin to understand if Troy is a person, a place, or none of the. Uh, I'll remember it in Dublin in a rainstorm and sitting in the long grass in summer, keep warm, keeping warm. I'll remember it every restless night. We were so young then. We thought that everything we could possibly do was right. Ooh, talk about it. <laughs> then we moved, stolen from our very eyes. And I wondered where you went. Tell me, when did the light die? So I thought she said, and then the moon was stolen from our very eyes. So I'm like, is that a poetic way to say the sun rose up? But now I'm understanding. Then we moved, stolen from our very eyes. And I wondered where you went to tell me when did the light die? So they changed. So I think we're talking about a guy. Are we talking about a guy? 
You will rise, you'll return, the phoenix from the flame. You will learn, you will rise, you'll return. Being what you are, there is no other Troy for you to burn. Huh. Okay, let's keep going. Let's see if I can figure it out. Right now, I'd, I have nothing. I have nothing. <laughs> and I, never meant to hurt you. I love this skirt she's wearing. I swear I didn't mean those things I said. Okay. I never meant to do that to you. Next that. time I keep my hands to myself instead. Ooh. Oh, does she love you? What do you want to do? Okay, this feels way less complicated in verse two. Um, so we are talking about a young couple, right? That was living young, wild and free, if you will, feeling uh, invincible and then things changed and, you know, the light, the flame died. Uh, I never meant to hurt you. I swear I didn't mean those things I said. I never meant to do that to you. Next time, I'll keep my hands to myself instead. Oh, does she love you? What do you want to do? This just gives toxic relationship. It gives like every toxic teenage slash early, 20, early 20s relationship. <laughs> um, okay, let's keep going. She's asking him, what, what do you want to do? Do you love her? What do you want to do? Does she need you like I do? Oh, does she need you? Love? Do you love her? Is she good for you? Yeah. Does she hold you like I do? Okay, I don't know if that is along the likes of yodeling or not, um, but I feel the almost weeping sound that it's mimicking is the longing, the des disparity, like she's desperate for him. And so I love kind of the nonverbal lyrics, if you will. They're not, they're not, ver there are no words but they still feel like lyrics because I think it's really putting a pain to the song. She's desperate. She's like, what, what is this girl doing for you? Can she do for you what I do for you? You know, like, I also feel like you could read this out just like conversationally. Like you don't, this doesn't even have to be a song. It's so real, you know, and I never meant to hurt you. I swear I didn't mean those things I said. I never meant to do what I did. Next time I'll keep my hands to myself, you know, like, like literally you could say it like that. Um, and so I love the, um, almost agony of the whoa, whoa, things that she's doing because it just makes it places the emotion really, really well. This is, I wish I had this song to communicate, uh, maybe in some past very toxic situations. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I, I like the songs that I learned on this channel that I had them, you know, like I knew of them when I really needed them, so I could have just press play. In those situations, like, hold on, hold on. I got, a, I got a song that'll tell you exactly how I feel. This would have been one of them. Maybe not verbatim or, you know, word for word for word, but it, there is some truth here, for me at least. I can't speak for y'all. You know, some of y'all have crystal clear past and your life is perfect, not over here. For me, I relate. I relate. <laughs> Ooh, the whisper. Just sometimes I wonder if I should believe. Hmm. Oh, I love you. God, I love you. Ooh, the whispering is. I kill a dragon for you. Ooh. When she whispers, it's like a dagger to the heart, literally. But I will rise. I'll be okay. I'm gonna be okay. Oh. 
She's so expressive. It's wild. Um, yeah, I think we're just saying like, like most breakups, there, there are so many learning lessons and you do, you come out of it as, you know, learning so much and becoming a, <coughs> excuse me, a new person. <coughs> I'm beginning to wonder if Troy is symbolic. Okay. Like I'm going to try to talk through this, but knowing that I'm probably very wrong, <laughs> It feels like we're talking about Troy in a, in a, and like, isn't Troy like something to do with like the Greek mythology? Like, isn't it like a place or something like that? So maybe she is, there, there is some type of symbolism or irony or metaphoric meaning to Troy, not being Troy as in his name, but Troy the infrastructure or something I don't know I it, I could be so far off base y'all let me know be kind to me if I'm wrong I'm telling you I'm probably wrong I just feel like the Troy thing is a little deeper than a guy named Troy I know we're talking about a relationship with another person but I don't know if I think he is Troy does two plus two equal four am I making sense let me know in the comments y'all let me know I'm just trying to understand You should have left the light on. You should have left the light on. You should have left the light on. That I wouldn't have tried and you'd never have known. And I wouldn't have pulled you tighter. No, I wouldn't have pulled you close. Ooh, you shouldn't have given me hope. You shouldn't have let me think that this was it. If you would have had the door closed, then I wouldn't have gotten attached. Ooh, preach, Miss O'Connor. That's a that's a word. It's a word. You know what I mean? If you didn't play with my heart, we wouldn't be here right now. Okay? If I just would have known what it was from the beginning, I would have been okay. Ooh, you should not have left the light on. Girl, this deep. This is deep. It's very simple. Oh, but I know you wanted me to be there. Oh, every look that you threw told me so. The, wow. But you should have left the light on. I love like the imperfectness that she allows um, her voice to have, like through the emotion. I think her emotion leads and then the vocal, not the other way around, which allows for those small kind of, you know, her voice gave out, if you will, from that belt she was holding, but it, the rawness of it makes for an even more powerful song. Because if you're having this argument with a human being, right? It's a flawed argument. You might be crying, you might be losing your voice, you might scream so loud and your voice gives out. Like I love the realness and the rawness that she allows. And the only way that that's allowed is if you lead by emotion when you're singing. A lot of times artists are in their head just trying to sound perfect. I don't think her goal here is to sound perfect. I think her goal here is to relate to people, to touch people, to impact people. And I just appreciate that. I really love this like little tennis skirt she has on because it's all like, I don't know, it's just big in the back. It's really cute, I want it. I want it. All right, let's wrap this up, Miss O'Connor. How will this end? You sure left the light up. Okay, I'm reading the lyrics, y'all. <laughs> and the flame burn away. But you say a spit in fire. Wow. Make no difference what you say. Ooh. You're still alive. Whoa. 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 
I definitely feel like the song is much deeper than what I'm thinking. It might not even be about a, a love, like romantic relationship. I do know it is about a painful relationship. It is about a relationship where she lent herself but didn't get it back in return. And that doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. That could be any kind of relationship. You know what I mean? Like, honest to God, that could be a so many different types of relationships. So um, I'm excited to read your comments. The main thing I think you could easily fall into believing is that this is about a, a man named Troy. And I don't think that. I definitely don't think that. Um, anywho, I loved this. I love... Just her her vulnerability on stage. She's as transparent and translucent as anything translucent or transparent can be. Like she bears it all soul first. And I love that. Um, all right, you guys. I enjoyed it. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it too. And I hope you have the day you deserve. Bye.